Hey, it's Tori from Mommy Bar, and I'm here with another face mask workout or just quick workout you can do um, while you're getting ready in the morning or for bed. So we're going to start with some diaphragmatic breathing to really get that core and pelvic floor engaged. So you're going to inhale, exhale, pull that belly button in and up towards your spine, almost like you have a corset on, and each time you Exhale, you want to feel that pelvic floor contracting. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Feel like that pelvic floor is coming all the way up to meet that belly button like you're zipping up your core and abdominals. And here's a little side view. So you see your belly button goes out as you inhale. And exhale, it lifts up and in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. All right, now we're going to do some hip isolations. So you're going to bend your knees, take them hip width apart, keeping that core and pelvic floor lifted and pulled in. You're just gonna take your hips side to side. You're gonna really feel that in your obliques and your core. And just back and forth side to side. And then we're gonna add in some circles here. You really wanna keep your knees pretty much where they are and your shoulders pretty much where they are. And all that is moving is going to be your hips doing little circles. Really feel when your hips are forward that almost like crunch-like feeling that really tight um, core feeling. Good, we're gonna reverse and go to the other side. And circle, make sure you're breathing. I like to inhale when my hips are back. Exhale, squeeze that belly button in when my hips come forward. And I just happened to have taken my son to the pool that day and we got home and I never even got changed. So you get a good view of what that inhale and exhale looks like. All right, now I use my sink as a bar. You're gonna bend your bottom leg. Your top leg is gonna be bent and you're just gonna lift that heel up towards the ceiling. Same time keeping that belly button engaged, pulled in and you're just gonna pulse that heel up towards the ceiling. Really feel that in your glutes. Eight, nine, and 10. Now we're gonna circle that. So you're gonna take your knee out to the side and around. So it's like you're drawing a circle on the floor with your knee. And we're gonna do 10 here and then reverse that and do 10 circles in the other way. Good, reverse now, 10 this way, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good, we're going to just take that knee out to the side, and now what you're going to do is you're going to rotate from your hip you should really feel this in your outer thigh and your glute. Your knee is going to go towards the floor and then out. Towards the floor and out. Your supporting leg, you're really standing on and feeling that in your glutes as well. All right, we're going to switch legs, bend that bottom leg. Top leg, you're just going to pulse that heel up towards the ceiling. And you want to keep your shoulders pretty much in line with your hips. You don't want to be doing any wiggling there in your hips. And pulsing here. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. Now you're going to circle with that knee. And if you want, you can hold your arms out to the side like I'm doing. Make sure that core is still engaged, though. And we're going to do ten circles this way in one direction. Go ahead and reverse. 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Now your knee's gonna go out and in. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, just stretching out a little bit. I just pull myself back. Make sure when you're stretching, your back is nice and flat, that you're not hunched over. And I just press one heel into the ground to stretch the back of my legs and roll up. Now my feet are parallel and I'm doing some releves. Again, keeping that core and pelvic floor engaged, glutes engaged, and you're just lifting those heels up and down. All right now, those heels are gonna stay up and you're just gonna do plies here with those heels lifted. You wanna go down as far as you can. Really squeeze from those glutes, pelvic floor, feel like an elevator there is pushing you up. Okay, now our heels are gonna be touching each other in a releved position. Our knees are gonna go out in a little plie, and we're just gonna pulse those knees out and in, like rotating them out and in. Good. Okay, we're gonna do some little lunge um, lunges here. You're gonna take one foot behind the other. Your back heel is gonna be lifted, front heel is down, and your weight you mostly want on that front leg, just bending down, using that glute and pelvic floor to press you up towards the ceiling. Good, 10 on each side. We're gonna switch to the other side for 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one here. Now my heels are lifted, putting the palm of my hand on the sink or wall, and I'm just gonna press out and hold in a plank position keeping that belly button squeezed in, core engaged. Good, and I like to hold then. I bend down into a push-up position and hold for 10 seconds. Now we're gonna do some push-ups. Each time you press down, keep those shoulders pulled down, shoulder blades back and down, and that core engaged, glutes engaged. And I do 10 push-ups here. I just move my hands a minute just to be more comfortable. And also to take my elbows to the outside. All right, and we're just gonna hold this for 10 seconds again. And that is our last thing for this little quick workout. And that's it. It's been about nine minutes. Quick little workout for you while you're getting ready. Um, and I'll see you next time.